Hey Pisces, so here is the weekly um, singles read. This time we're doing um, possible signs that you could be encountering, um, initials and some features of your potential person. Um, kind of a new channel, so if you haven't subscribed, please like, subscribe. It just lets me know to keep on going, keep on doing this. Your support would be greatly appreciated. I like the cards to drop, but you know that the universe is speaking to me. So if you guys don't want to stay through the shuffling, just go ahead and fast forward. Potential person could be a stubborn person. <laughs> okay, so we have air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong for Scorpio. We have Pisces, so you could be dealing with another Pisces. Sagittarius, I feel like that's kind of a double confirmation. Just with that bottom of the deck. I'm sorry. No, I had it right. My bad. Ignore me. Libra. And it's like 5 o'clock in the morning where I'm at, so I'm a little tired. Forgive me, okay? Let's get the layout of the person. Six cards, please. With Pisces. I just need one more, guys. Sorry, it's taking so long. All right, so this is your person right here, Eight of Pentacles, some earth energy. Um, so this is your, your future person, and I feel like um, whether they're a guy or girl, this person is a hard worker. Um, I feel like they have goals and ambitions, and they are just really focused on um, life in a big picture, okay? Um, will the attraction be instant with the Three of Pentacles? Um, I liken this card to marriage um, commitment, and I do feel like the energy is saying that, yeah, you guys are going to be equally attracted to each other right out the gate, okay? Um, what will your person be like? And then I, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is telling me that I feel like you're going to look at this person and be like, they're a total package in every which way and form, um, looks-wise, intelligence-wise. Um, emotional, I feel like this person is going to be emotionally available and open. They're going to be honest and you're going to be sitting in that energy like, how did I score such a wonderful person, right? Um, I feel like that's the energy coming from the person that, you, that you're going to be meeting from that card. It's like they're going to be everything to you and I feel like that uh, that's going to be um, equal, you know? Um, challenges. Um, it could be that, um, say you've not met this person before, but you know people that know of this person, and I feel like some challenges for you might be um, just, for some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm getting gossip. Like, you might have people that gossip about this person, or you might hear gossip about this person, which isn't true, and I feel like with the hangman energy, um, they're just telling you, you know, to just don't believe everything that you hear, okay? Um, which is important, right? 
Um, and who cares about anybody's past anyway? I feel like this person is um, an honest, hardworking individual, but um, it, it's that either you're hanging out with people who like to gossip, or for some reason I'm, I'm getting somebody, you know, like uh, drama, you know? That's what I'm getting. Um, you know, uh, like maybe you have a drama fight friend or something that maybe that like says some things about this person that you meet. Um, but I'm getting drama. And with that hangman energy, it's just telling you, you know, don't believe everything you hear. And maybe just cut out some of the energies that are around you that, you know, are not um, super important in your life that you don't need. Okay. And then um, when, where, or how will we meet? So we have the six of wands and um, wands represent days and they represent the spring. So with the six being there, um, I, I, it could be six days for some of you, but I'm feeling more like six weeks. Um, I'm feeling um, drawn to tell you to like the end of summer. Okay. Um, but it could be all the way up to um, into the spring of 2021. All right. For some of you. Okay. So I'm going to get some features. I'll get six features and then um, six initials. All right, so we got we got Pan. So your person could be a fake and baker, like me, or not. Light brown hair. They could just be oh look at that dark skin. Um, we have that they could some of you could be meeting somebody that wears glasses. Salt and pepper hair. Excuse me. And then a few extra pounds. All right. And then for initials, I'm going to reach into this box. I'm not looking. There's not enough space. All right. So initials, we got some of you could be dealing with, you know, the J, letter J. We have, I'm sorry, L. We have double L. We have um, M. D. And C. So first, middle, and last initials potentially C, M, D, and then J, and then double L. All right, so Pisces, um, I uh, pretty sure I screwed up there at the beginning with the signs, but again, like I said, I, I just woke up not too long ago. It's still early, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the reading this way. If you do, please let me know. All right, thanks. Bye.